Hey everybody, it's uh, Video Games Lonesome playing the Metal Gear Solid 5 demo, Ground Zeroes. I know I said I would return it, but the fact is, while I was interested to see what the return process would be like on this game, um, going in with the with the assertion to the to the store, I don't even remember where, I think we got it from Walmart to assert that this was a demo, not a game, and give me my money back would have been interesting. One, we didn't get around to it. Two, I think it's important that I actually do play it and actually see like what the, what the new Metal Gear Solid is like, what the, what the mechanics are like, how it plays, because I really didn't get a good feel for that on the first look. So, I'm going to play it. <laughs> speedrun. I am in fact going to so not speedrun this that it's going to be... I'm going to be extremely slow this time around. I'm going to derp around forever. I'm not even probably going to do the mission. I think I'm just going to derp around the base and just play with Snake's mechanics. I just want to see what it's like to play. So I was thinking I would wear these because I could hear better. What I've done is I've got true stereo in these headphones by simply making the controller output the sound and then I split it so that one's going to the mixer for you guys and one's going into my ears. However, now that I have this on and I'm talking, it feels really weird my hearing my voice like that. Oh, and then something's going on here. I don't know if I'll do this, to be honest. It feels weird to talk like this with a muffled head. I'm gonna not do this for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the audio back out through. I like this option though. On the, on the PlayStation to be able to just jack into the bottom. I think you can do that on the Xbox as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the audio back out through. There we go. All right, I'll bring the audio back into the mixer from the main source now. There we go. Yeah, it's really weird talking when you can't hear yourself. Yeah, sure, Becky, go ahead and... Wait, didn't I already make an announcement? Oh, I didn't do it on Facebook. Wait, yeah, I... Okay, do it on Facebook, Becky. I only did it on Twitter. I suppose it's not fair to Facebookers if they don't get that update. Since I've always said, follow us on Facebook to get all the updates. <laughs> Alright, here I go. Hood goes up, because I'm in stealth mode. Let's do this. All right. Oh. Mission select. Okay, because I unlocked other missions, right? The manual. Oh man, <laughs> I'm going to try not to get into the, my criticisms of this game because that's just frankly exhausting and I just want to play, but it doesn't let it look like it's going to let me play because I have to read through a textbook in order to learn how to play. What do you guys recommend? Should I do this? Should I read all this or should I just, maybe you guys can help me along the way instead? I'm going to go back in to the normal mode. And I'm going to try to be taught. I'm going to see what it's like to just jump in and see if it'll teach me in any way. In an era where the... 
All right, let me read this. In an era where the world is divided into East and West Boss, the mother of special forces and the hero of World War II defected the boss, the mother of special forces and the hero of World War II defected to the Soviet Union. Is Snake, they mean big boss, right? The boss. And when they say the boss, the hero of World War II, do they mean the American hero of World War II? Is, is big boss American? Defected to the Soviet Union. I shouldn't try to learn this. Ugh. The hell is scratching underneath the laptop? There's like a rock under there. Found it, I think. Nope. Not Big Boss. Yes, it's very... Ah, oh, fuck it then. I'm just gonna jump. Fuck the story. <laughs> Alright, can I skip this though, please? I've seen the... I've seen the cinematic. Yes, it's all very pretty and it's all very depressing as well. Please let me skip. What the fuck? Oops, I accidentally pressed the share button. That happens a lot. There we go. Skip. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Before you go any further, use your binoculars to recon the area. What do you see? Press the call button to get more intel. When he says press the... There's the prison. Oh. Enemy combatants have ducked it from around the world. Your binoculars are equipped with a directional microphone. You should be able to listen in on whatever they're pointed at. You should try listening in on those soldiers. Even casual chatter could reveal something in a place like this. There's a door in the fence. You could either break through the fence or go around. What do you think? So basically, uh, who's he talking to again? He's talking to uh, J Jag Kato or Kato Kalen. He's ba he's like gonna tell him everything I point at. Like, will he tell me about the cactus? Head for the old prison. Oh. You'll find the targets there. It's a guard. Don't let him see you. Avoid combat whenever possible. Miller, what is this? That's the refugee camp. I hear it's where they hold refugees from countries like Cuba and Haiti. But what's this? What am I looking at here? I forget what you said. On top of a decades-long dictatorship, Haitians also face an ever-growing wealth gap. A lot of those people likely risk their lives to get out. Those are U.S. Marines on watch. Not the type to go easy on intruders. They're U.S. Marines here? I didn't know the U.S. was evil. You can use your iDroid to check all sorts of operational data. The map, objectives, the target's locations. It'll help a lot if you let it. An anti-air gun. A chopper's worst nightmare. That's an AA gun. They're just as serious about their air defenses. That anti-air gun's built to last. Don't expect to take it out with your rifle. An AA gun. An anti-air gun. A chopper's worst nightmare. I've sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. A searchlight. Stay out of the beam or the guard will spot you. Open the menu tab, then select mission info. From there you can view target's photos or check other visual information. Miller's just a wealth of information. Miller! What's that? 
gun with a suppressor generates less noise, oh. meaning there's next to no chance of it giving away your presence. Miller? What's that? Your tranquilizer gun's effective range isn't that great. The round's trajectory will drop the farther it goes. So take that into account while aiming. Miller! What's that? Is that for storage or something? Warehouse. Huh. Hey boss, this is no time to go treasure hunting. That warehouse got your attention? <laughs> yes. I'll stop you. Just don't get seen. <laughs> a warehouse inside the base. Could be worth a look, especially if they're storing weapons inside. What's that, Kaz? Is that for storage or something? <laughs> this is amazing! They recorded so much dialogue for something that doesn't matter at all. Warehouse. Huh. I appreciate hey, that boss, it has... This is no time to go treasure hunting. ...so many different dialogue versions. What's that, Kaz? That's a Marine on guard. Don't underestimate him. What's that, Cass? The flow of refugees fleeing Cuba is non-stop. Some make it to Florida, but others are caught and sent to Cuba's Little America. What's that, Cass? Those tranquilizer rounds are only good for putting your target oh. to sleep. They won't help you break anything. Mm, what's that, Cass? The targets are in the old prison. Shit. Alright. I need to mark more people. Did I just mark something? What the? It'd be a good idea to study the layout and enemy posts before going inside. Whoa. It's a truck. Think you can pull yourself up into the cargo bed. Secure the targets. They're in the old prison. I think it's funny that they took away radar in this in this version, but they have see-through walls. Basically, like you can see, anybody you've marked is basically see through. So it's just as unrealistic an ability to have. So why take the radar away? I guess maybe it was a design choice to keep people always looking at the screen as opposed to a little radar at the bottom right. Or was it bottom left in Metal Gear games? All right, I think I've marked everything I can see from here. I guess it's time to look at my eye droid. Why does it say enemy has left the area at the bottom left? It just said that. I didn't I didn't I don't know. Landing zone for a chopper. Target field of movement. So, I'm going to explore the base. These two landing zones seem like the most ridiculous landing zones. <laughs> Why would I ever want a chopper to land there? I guess that's the whole point of taking out the anti-air. What am I equipped with when I start here? Do I have C4? This is the transmission we intercepted. Chico's call for help. Snake, it's Chico. I need your help. Cypher's holding me on a U.S. military base in Cuba. Pass it to you too. You're at the prison area on the coast. There's some cages to the east of a big building. East an old grassy facility. That's where we are. Help. 
Listening. Their lives are in your hands. Get Chico and Pass out of there. Will this record everything that's said at all? Even all the shit I just asked Miller about? Wow, that's nice to know. Conversations, haven't had any. Mother base, enemy has left the area. Yeah, what? So, oh, okay. That's what you guys are saying, that some... Uh, that some enemies will just leave altogether like trucks and that's why it said enemy has left the area. If I've marked one that leaves then it'll tell me that. It's marked enemies. One of 40. System marked enemy. Okay, there. That's a... Okay, I see. Wait a minute. Why does it say trial at the top? Trial. Why come? Is that an admission? that this is a demo? Map seems to be better than an aerial photo. Um. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, that's how you get into the two modes. It's my second run, that's why it says trial. Okay, so now I have to learn how to play. We'll see how far the in-game tutorial will get me. If it doesn't get me very far, then I'll probably have to resort to reading the textbook manual. Oh. Is this where I go to restock bullets? Or like... What the... I don't I understand this. Oh, I can have a silenced pistol. I have night vision goggles in this? Good to know. Oh, unlocked weapons will appear in that box if you unlock them on a previous playthrough. Well, I don't, I don't want it. I want to play this as though I'm my first way going through. I'll just ignore this weapon then. I'll just use the one that they gave me, which is this one, right? The MRS rifle. And... Oh, you can tap! They didn't remove tapping. You use an empty magazine can be thrown to create distraction. Tapping the attack button will perform a, oh, a quick toss. You can't tap, never mind. You just tap the button to throw it. Holding the button will perform a long range overhand. Okay. Interesting. Why does this thing have, uh, the Z, the SZ thing have an exclamation mark next to it? The SZ336SMG. 
They should have given these things nicknames. That gun replaced your Trank gun? I better go back and get it back. I want my Trank gun back. Oh, I see. So it's an either or thing. You don't get to have both, and that's why I guess it's fair. That means it's new and you haven't used it. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna go in with Trank gun. Check the controls on the pause screen. A hey, seriously. They seriously want you to go to the menu to get to the controls. And if I wasn't connected to the internet right now, I wouldn't be able to see this manual, would I? Wow. Wow. That is ridiculous. So anyways, somebody said it was because I had it equipped, equipped, that... So you're saying I could pick up both guns? You can see the controls in the settings. Let me check that. Settings, options, you mean? And then control settings? I don't, I don't see what you're talking about. Camera, control type? Here you go. Attack with R2. R1 is hold for binoculars. L1 is radio. L2 is ready your weapon. Up, equip, primary. <clears throat> Secondary, equip item left, right to equip support weapon. Why is that scrolling by? That one piece of text. Uh, R1, hold for binoculars, toggle aim mode, shoulder slash FPS. Contextual action with, okay, reload, change stance, quick dive, square. Control camera, binoculars, zoom, move, and dash. Press it down. Open eye droid, pause. Okay. They didn't have word wrap in the 70s. <laughs> All right, big boss snake. Let's go. Oh, yeah, baby Hank's dressed as... um is dressed as Raiden because I was thinking tonight if I got bored with this I might just switch over to Revengeance because I wouldn't actually mind doing a lonesome long haul of Revengeance of Metal Gear Rising so that's a possible thing I might do so that's how you switch modes so that's shoulder view, that's first person view I need some diazepam to stop my my hand swaying.
Um, somebody... Oh, shit. So if I quickly want to restart... Restart checkpoint? Yes. I guess one of the hardest parts going into this would um, be. This is an infiltration mission. Yeah, yeah. You've got to stay out of sight. Oh, I gotta remark everybody because of that. To weak on the area. Shit. What do you see? Press the call button to get more intel. Oh yeah, I can listen. All quiet. Those new guys. You see their choppers? Who are they with? Beats me, man. Green Berets, SEALs. Those ain't no jarhead birds, I can tell you that. Some paramilitary setup? Well, some of the guys are saying... You know what? It's best we just drop this, right? Uh, sure. It must be kind of annoying on multiple playthroughs to have to go through and mark everybody that you've already marked on previous playthroughs. It's just kind of an, a chore that on multiple playthroughs probably feels really annoying. I guess pros don't need any kind of radar anyways. Hey, he went, I know, oh. How do you know when a conversation is going on? Like when you see two guards go up to each other, I guess, then it's a conversation. So you can easily miss out on conversations, I guess, by not quickly zooming in on dudes. Or noticing when they're getting going up close to each other. Marking my targets. I see gameplay being extended during the, the game proper when MGS finally gets released. Just spending hours upon hours surveying my mission grounds before I go in. Marking as many people as I can before I even approach. What? What? I don't understand that. 
So why would I want to jump off of the cliff? Why wouldn't I just hop down instead of launching into the air? Like that. I don't, I don't... Is there a use for jumping off cliffs? Because it looks cooler. Oh. Interesting. I don't suppose I can wake guys up who've been tranquilized, huh? Multiple dudes have now left the area. Somebody's going home for the night, or? Thank you, Kaz. So Kaz said in the thing that you can go around the fence or you could bust through it. I don't see a way to go around it. It looks like rocks block both ways. Am I wrong in that observation? Like, it looks to me like this is the only way through, right here. Now head east to the old prison area. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. There are more ways in. All right, so how? I didn't see one. Let me try to go rock climbing. Here you go. Hey, who saw me? Oh, he woke up! CP, this is Solo 2. I have eyes on a suspicious person. Need someone to check it out. Over. This is CP. Understood. Oh, Now I know that they can wake up. Also, there's a dart in my head. <laughs> this is 
is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Head for the old prison. You'll find the targets there. Well, this is what I wanted to do anyways. CQC is effective for dealing with nearby enemies. CQC? What the fuck is that? All the acronyms in the world are included in MGS, even if they're not related to the game. You can now either interrogate him, knock him out, or kill him. His life is in your hands. Spit it out. Close quarters combat? Then why don't you just fucking say that? Speak. You should move the bodies of enemies somewhere out of sight. <laughs> Good one, Raph Navi. They ain't got time for that shit. All right. So first lesson learned, kill guys, don't put them to sleep. Morphine, I think I remember seeing that. <clears throat> I think I remember that from the trailers, that you can pull guns on guys and then they will... Is it the same as close quarters combat? You get less points at the end for killing? What the fuck do I give a shit about points? I'm the legend of Zelda. I can do what I want. Bitch. There's not much of a penalty, even if you're going for S rank for killing. Contact me if you need advice. Head for the old prison. You'll find the targets there. Now L1. Speak. Get down. Spit it out. How do I kill him now?
There you go. Kicked him in the butt. What happened to those guys you called to check out the sound, idiot? <laughs> You're a dummy. And I'm cooler than you. What? He gets back up. So how do I kill him once he's on the ground? Because I was pressing R2 there and it just kept kicking him in the butt. I had to wait for him to get back up so that I could kill him. Eyes open, boss. your iDroid to check all sorts of operational data. The map, objectives, the target's locations. It'll help a lot if you let it. Smoke grenades are nice. Does it replace anything that I own? Oh, I get to keep it. Nice. Why didn't I just bring some smoke grenades to this mission? <laughs> Seem unprepared. C4 to replace my hand grenade. That's a good trade. You've got explosives. They'll pack enough power to destroy their anti-air defenses or vehicles. Why didn't I bring my own C4? What I should have done when I was up here is get a better vantage again. Take a good look at the enemy through your binoculars, and you can mark him. Marked enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. But it only works if you stop and take the time to focus your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Try it. Does he mean that you can't see guys through walls unless you've stopped? Looked and listened? What the? What's he up to? This is a tiny map. My goal is to kill everybody in the base and see what happens. Like, will anyone notice if everybody's been killed? The rain was coming down just as hard the day we met Boss. I only want peace for my country. <laughs> I can't believe we ever bought that cover story. After Paz tried to steal Zeke from us, and we watched her get pulled beneath the waves, there was one thing I kept asking myself. Which was the real Paz, and which was the lie? Thanks, but I need to really concentrate on my mission here, Kaz. Fuck. So 
So how do I kill him now that he's on the ground in front of me? And remember at GDC they said that the demo wouldn't work because enemies don't act in the same way every time, but they do. I have to shoot him? I can't just slit his throat like I would if I had snuck up on him? Like, because I learned from our first look at the game that my silencer on this gun has a limited use. Once on the ground, you have to shoot them. That is dumb. rationale is that he would fight back if you tried to slit his throat that doesn't make any sense because he didn't try to fight back there <laughs> a sleeping guy should be easier to slit the throat of than a guy who isn't sleeping that's just my thought on the, on the thing so That was weird, because those guys showed up, presumably to check on this guy and why he wasn't responding to his post or whatever. Oh, they saw the gun? Is it because they saw the gun that they decided that he was... had been killed? I can't choose a knife manually, guys. I don't think that it's in my... I didn't see it in my weapon... weapon choices. Oh, they don't react to guns. So how come those two guys showed up and immediately said... Immediately started talking about how I had used a suppressor, even though they hadn't seen me yet? They didn't even know that the guy that was missing had been taken out. They had no idea. But one of them dove for cover, like, immediately. <laughs> They saw the body? Then what's the point of grass if they can see bodies through the grass? I was right next to the body, so if they saw the body, they should have seen me. Instead of talking about the body, they should have been, hey, there's a guy. <laughs> Instead of, hey, there's a body. It looks like he's been hit with a tranquilizer. And hey, there's a guy next to him who looks like he might have used a tranquilizer on him. Derp a derp a doop boo. Derp a derp a doop. Spit it out. Speak. Thank you, you dummy. Yeah, I, I think that makes sense, Urban Banner, that, like, 
that if he wasn't reporting in, they should be like, where is he? But they immediately assumed the worst. Like, one of them jumped behind cover the second that they realized he was gone. As though they knew exactly what had happened or who had taken him down. They did... You would think that there'd be a little bit of lag, like, you know, okay, he's gone, so let's go through the options. Where could he be? He could be at the ba in the bathroom, he could have fucked off to get a cigarette, he could have... I feel like they should wait a little bit, unless they're on high alert, and there's no reason for them to have been on high alert yet. The graphics sure are pretty. It's weird that you can't go into these tents because they would be beautiful cover to just hop into one, you know? Alright, I gotta keep remembering that when I'm up on a tower I should use it to mark more enemies. <clears throat> hey, did I, I, I'm trying to reorient myself here. Okay, that's where I went. I've been in there. Okay. Time to continue my adventure. I've sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. Where are you going? That's outside the mission area. About to leave the mission area. Caution, you are about to leave the mission area. Caution, you are about to leave the mission area. Thanks, iDroid. <laughs> I just discovered my new favorite thing. If you ready your weapon while crawling, you can move horizontally left or right. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move faster.
What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? It's a hidden item, so it's one of the nine XOF patches that were tossed by the guy at the beginning cinematic, and one of them is hidden within Snake, and you have to roll around like a fucking idiot to get it. That's amazing. Oh man. As if I found that by accident. <laughs> it's such an extended cinematic for no reason. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> that was so confusing. I was like, did I just break the fucking game? Or did I like just unlock something because nobody... I was hoping it was something nobody had ever done before, but of course it's the internet. Somebody would have discovered that by now, but... See? Me playing like an idiot... works. That was hilarious. Yeah, I thought it was on a time limit too. I thought somehow, like, they'd hit the kill switch on my biological brain bomb or something because I'd taken too long. How much do you have to roll for that to happen? Like, I rolled a fuck of a lot there. <laughs> it was all over the place. Or is it like a cumulative meter that decides that on your 20th roll, you unlock that or something. A fuck of a lot is quite accurate. Hmm. Huh. See, that overly dramatic cutscene for something so simple as a, as a fox patch, that's the kind of silliness that's trademark of the series that, you know, I, I, I'm very welcoming of. I like to see that kind of stuff. It's so silly and melodramatic and over the top for a fucking patch that just fell out of my back pocket because it accidentally somehow got lodged in there. L2 plus R2 for cover attack. What? So, is there a difference in aiming from cover than there is from aiming outside of cover? Like, the animation looks the exact same. And also, can an enemy see me when I do that? Probably, right? Like, this doesn't go by dishonored rules, does it? However, you can peek from cover, can't you? There's like, you press down R3 and it'll let you peek, and that means that you can't be seen? Like, I'm safe like that, right? I wish there was a cover button, because you bust out of cover too easily. Like. I'm apparently in cover now, but 
if I want to turn around and go to the edge of this cover, am I in cover right now or am I pop? Like, what's cover, what isn't cover? It feels really hard to tell. I'm like, I'm not in cover there. Now I'm in cover. It, it feels really derpy to get into cover. Like, I'm in cover and I go over to the other side, still in cover, so it's fine right now. I think I'm in cover? Or am I? Now I'm not. And now if I want to go from here to being in cover, I have to kind of flick up. It's hard to tell. I wish they would have a toggle. Yeah, that rat. Look at him. Can I eat him? <laughs> you preferred over pressing a button, but do you like Frostbite the fact that you can't really tell? Or am I just not good? Because <laughs> to me, I wish there was at least some sort of an indicator that tells me that I'm definitely, like, is this cover? No, that's cover. And this is out of cover right now, I think. No, it, I'm still in cover. Out. In. The little noise you make when getting into cover will alert enemies. Oh my god. Snake, why do you have to touch everything? Stop touching things. Man, that's a lot of shipments of particle board these guys have been receiving lately. Looking to build a little fort, me thinks. Yeah, maybe. Wrong. Anyway, they're gone now. Guess we'll never find out. XOF. What, is, what does it mean? What does it all mean, I wonder? Uh, somebody thinks they see me. Shit. Shit. back and forth while hanging. You can also climb back up or let go and drop. How do I let go? Sure of your surroundings before you do. How do I let go? Now I want to fucking let go. Fuck it. I didn't see an indicator for how to let go there. Hopefully they'll give up soon. Press X to drop. Why couldn't they just put a little indicator on there to say that? If they can put a little indicator to show you to press triangle to get back up, they could have put a little X to say to drop. And then in the options menu, they can put a little thing that says how to turn, or that turns off all HUD so that if you're annoyed by it, you can just get rid of it. Yeah, it looks like they gave up. So, okay, now I'm in cover. Holy shit. That's a lot of guys.
Pixel podium, come on. Are you that's sarcasm, right? <laughs> it's gotta be sarcasm. Oh, they saw me through the chain link. Shit. The reason I'm kind of just total sarc. Okay, good. The reason I'm booking it every time they think they see me is because I, I want to kind of go into this base in an undisturbed state. I don't want them to go into blitz mode. I want to see what it's like if I had kept on going without ever getting seen. These motherfuckers walking around trying to find me. So they seem to stay in look around for snake mode for about 30 seconds and then they seem to go back to their posts after that. They left one guy at their post, so I guess distracting or making them think they see somebody is a, probably a good technique to get guys away from their posts. Because now that's that's actually quite a traverse. That, like that's a totally approachable place now that I got rid of those two, and now they're just like casually walking around. Like, they're not even looking for me anymore. They're just, they've left their post. Due to suspicion of seeing me. You're way too exposed there. Find some cover and stick to it. Shut up, Kaz. So how many shots in the body do I have to do? It's one headshot, but like, three body shots, I think? Those guys just completely left their post. Thanks, dudes. I was worried about getting in this building before, but now I'm not. Whoa! Look what I found. Oh. It had a little R2 for a moment when I went up to him for the first time. Wait, I can go through here? Kaz, concentrate. I myself out with a grenade, you stopped me. I never realized until I met you. There's no such thing as an absolute enemy. Our enemies are always relative. That's pretty much the theme of Metal Gear. <laughs> Whoa, where did I end up? I wish I'd killed that guy. Oh, this just gets into the, what he was guarding. Shit. This is the back way in. I hear a camera. Oh, I see it. Wish I knew the range of the camera. This 
surveillance camera. Why would he even go back here? Speak. Whoops. They're the two that were closest, so... Uh-oh. He can't give a sit rep because he's dead. Keep your guard up, dummy. Don't ask for shit reps. You're fucking me up with your sit rep request. this oh What about the guys you asked for sit reps? Even if you can't find a dude, you should probably think about it. CP is really bipolar. He's all over the map with his requests and his crazy crap. Go to sleep!
All right. Time to go Rambo mode. Oh, Rambo mode initiated. If only we had discovered this on the show. <laughs> oh, this is a, I really wish we'd seen this on the show. Man, the splash damage on this rocket sucks. Anti-air emplacement confirmed destroyed. You'll have an easier time calling in the chopper to your position now. <laughs> oh, they thought they treated it like a hostage situation. They said to let it go, let him go. Don't let them blow up our thing. Oh, shit. Anti-air emplacement confirmed destroyed. You'll have an easier time calling in the chopper to your position now. All of this just makes me think, what the fuck is the point of stealth when I can do this? Like, there's no repercussions to this, it seems. Anti-air emplacement confirmed destroyed. You'll have an easier time calling in the chopper to your position now. Follow the smoke, boys. It's too dangerous to try and contact the target. Wait for the enemy to stand down. Stay alert. Out. 
Uh oh, I only have a rocket launcher. Breaking games. Ugh. What is life? What's the point? They call me Big Boss, but I don't feel like the Big Boss. I feel like the Little Boss sometimes. You know what I'm saying, Doc? CP, this is Delta Two. Arrived on scene. Starting a check of the area. Understood. Watch for anything suspicious. Out. <sighs> Where did the challenge go? What have I done with my life? They call me Solid Snake, but I'm just a big softy. Wait, I'm not a solid snake. CP, understood. Return to your post. ASAP. Out. <laughs> He's leaving. All I had to do was just sit here CP, on the ground. Leg. Oh, a second person is here to... Why... Why two? The first guy wasn't good enough? Leave me alone. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a hobby or something. Maybe I should get a boat. I don't know. What's Otacon been up to lately? He keeps asking me to play Yu-Gi-Oh with him. Maybe I'll come out to his next Settlers of Catan party. But I just don't get along with his friends. Mei Ling keeps asking me to come to her pottery classes. I know I'm attributing Solid Snake's history to Big Boss, and it doesn't make sense. I don't give a fuck. It's the only snake I know. Um. <clears throat> This is the snake hole. I call this the Snake Vacation Resort. Our jittery palm fronds, your bag? Well, we've got you covered, baby. Hide behind the box and water can thing composter at Snake Resort. Coming to a refugee camp near you. Send a rocket resistant guy this time. <laughs> Oh, they sent four this time. Five! All right, all right. CP, this is Delta-1. No sign of the enemy. We're calling off the search. 
Oh, really? You didn't even look. I have this feeling that they're just being cowardly and pretending they didn't find anything because they know what happened to the last ten guys to come down here. Ain't no way we're going near that stack of particle board and composter. I'm not turning out like Larry and Barry. All right, back to work. Ugh. This is hard mode, by the way. The backwards crawl playthrough. Yeah, Chico hasn't noticed anything that was going on. He had earphones in, guys. No. Come on. No, go away! Hey. Go hey. away! Get off, man. Pull me out of here, please. Get please. off me! Get off! Chico, keep it down. Go away! Give me a second. Right over here. Hey, hey, you gotta let me out. Here. You let me out, go! Get off me! Get off! Why is Chico so crazy at this point? Like, why doesn't he even recognize Snake? The other POWs don't talk if you kill them first. That's kind of cool. I got Chico. And boss? Not here. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Is Chico able to walk? Hold on. Not gonna happen. You'll have to carry him out there. I don't understand the bolts through the ankles. I don't get it. I, I don't have to watch this either. Skip. I've marked the RV on your map. Okay, now carry Chico there. Fuck it! You're seriously injured. Find somewhere safe to rest. That'll give you a chance to apply first aid. How do I call in the RV again? How do I do this? It's like... What's the button? Ow. Oh yeah, it's a... 
a but or uh, an item. L2 for menu. Oh yeah, I remember that. This is a cactus! Recover! Also... Oh, flares work in addition to the menu? That guy's still alive. It's the giant helicopter. <laughs> That's where your target is. Where'd he go? He could be anywhere! Turn this off Jacob somehow. Taken out of his cage. Did he leave the tape recording while he was being moved? Chico left the tape on record while he was being moved. Try using what you the truck that's supposed to drive away. Somebody drive the truck for me. Fuck it, I'll drive the truck. Be as loud as any other now. If you have to shoot, be careful. CP, this is Ulu 2. We're hearing 
This guy's still sleeping. How come the other guy got up so early? Wow, this slow-mo is awesome. Holy shit, this is awesome. Pause supposed to be down here somewhere. Ah. I don't want to see this again. Eh. Brutality against... Well, I guess she's supposed to not be a child, but she looks like one. Boss, get Poss onto the helicopter. The AI is so advanced that they have different personalities. Some are sleepier than others. Stop it. Stop it. Shit! Fuck it! Wait, where- Oh, it's supposed to be right here. What's taking this fucking chopper so long? Hurry the fuck up! Oh, they can kill her. That doesn't count as a death. Because she died. Mission. She died, not me. <laughs> Go ahead and call the chopper. Keep an eye out for nearby enemies. They can try to shoot down the chopper. So basically, you have to just. That chopper request. It's headed your way now. If I just sit there and don't get seen then it's just a matter of waiting for, like, five minutes for the chopper to arrive? Go ahead and call 
the chopper. Uh. Keep an eye out for nearby enemies. They can try uh. to shoot down the chopper. So I just wait here, right? And then, hey, how did this door open anyways? I rammed into this specifically with the, you know what? I'm gonna try something. Oh, they won't let me in there with her. I thought I could put her in the truck and then, wait. This is interesting. You know what? Let's change that chopper request, guys. I want it back down here. And then... Roger that chopper request. It's headed your way now. I gotta do a quick three-point turn. Oh. This has actually got a pretty nice turning radius. Whoa! What did they do? Target confirmed dead. Was that Mission thing that failed. I bumped into a tank? It must have been a tank. So if I drive less conspicuously... Bye everybody, just backing up. <laughs> this is less conspicuously, by the way. This is Oracle, arriving shortly at LZ. Hey buddy, just bringing in the latest shipment of um, POWs. <laughs> Got a fresh batch here, everybody. Fresh POWs used for you. You know how the boss likes them fresh. Don't let me, I can't delay. I can't go, I can't stop for the checkpoint, guys. All right, it's gonna be your ass though if he's pissed because he hates stale POWs. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Target confirmed dead. I'm gonna stick to that. Oh man, derping around and doing it in the stupidest fucking way possible is a lot of fun. Okay, where did they put me a check mark? What was the checkpoint? Oh, it was right here when I came in. I think I could... No, they won't let me pass the checkpoint.
So that guy doesn't notice that he was just shot in the shoulder with a uh, trank. Is he falling asleep? Who the fuck saw me? What's taking so long? Oh, the checkpoint reset the chopper coming. Shit. Well, if I was safe over at Snake POW Camp Tropical Resort, I should be safe right here as well. So I'll just lay down and wait. I didn't call the chopper? Yeah, I can hear it. It's on the way. Apparently, I'm the only one who can hear it. This is Morpho, arriving shortly at LZ. LZ is a landing zone. Where the fuck is the chopper? I can hear it, but I can't. Whoa, Morpho, you're cool. This is Morpho, on station at LZ. Go on without me! things to do. Light him up, Snake. Uh-oh. I died! It. <laughs> Snake, talk to so, me. in Snake. the end, here, let me... I'm gonna take a break, and then when I come back, I have an idea that I could probably speedrun this I'm pretty sure I could speedrun this in under 10 seconds. I mean 10 minutes. I'm, I've got a map in my mind of running over to the right to Chico. And all I need to do is use my slow-mo to, as long as I'm, as long as I'm really accurate with slow-mo during my slow-mo modes, I should be able to put down everybody on the way. If I miss, then I'm fucked. But if I, if I make sure that I hit every time I go into slow-mo, um, then I could just book it for Chico, then book it to the LZ, then book it over to Paz. I could use the truck even to drive to Paz, run down to Paz, grab her, run back out, call the chopper on the way even, and I think I could survive just booking it. All right, anyways, I'm gonna take a quick break. I need a pee break and I'm gonna maybe have a snack. I might be back in the next like five minutes or so. So uh, see you in a little bit. <laughs>